I'm part of an art collective called Understory. Understory means everything that lives under the trees. And this collective is a group of Colombian women, architects and industrial designers, Lina, Anna and me. And we decided to apply to Burning Man three years ago. We got rejected because we were proposing a massive temple. And of course, like we were out of budget, out of scale. I decided to keep the design because it was super beautiful design and implemented in the Unreal Fellowship World Building 2023. And I managed to create a fantastic world, which I placed in a swamp with moving elephants and there was Dali things around and it was super nice. We realized that we can make this physical and we redesigned our structure a bit smaller. And that's when we applied to an art grant for Burning Man. So our main concept in Nebula, it's focused on mushrooms and loneliness. So in Colombia, we have a phrase, when you feel lonely, we say that we feel like mushrooms because mushrooms grow alone, but they have a rooted system under the soil that they're all interconnected. And that resonates with us quite a lot, as in we have all feel loneliness in our lives. For example, in the US, 50% of the people have said that they feel lonely. So that's why we wanted to create an art piece that allows this conversation to happen. We started with a mushroom and then we created a forest of mushrooms that have different size and scales and illuminate at night as well, celebrating the structure of the architecture piece. And Burning Man loved it and they gave us the art grant. And we are the first women driven team from Colombia that is placing an art piece at Burning Man. I was like, oh my God, we are in now. What do we do? We have never ever built anything in a desert. I created a very simple module in Rhino. I just duplicated and start like playing with the scales of it. And then using data smith plugin that is a direct link, we use twin motion and Unreal to visualize it. Then we wanted to explore more. So for us, it was very important for our art piece to be interactive at nighttime. So our lighting system was a key factor in our mushrooms. So we implement a DMX plugin inside Unreal so that we could showcase different scenarios on how the light will react to the environment and as well understand how much lighting do we need to buy and construct because we managed to visualize it in Unreal first. Burning Man art pieces normally burn at the end. In our case, we want to give it a second home and we are searching for this. So it was quite easy to just jump into a pixel streaming service and being able to showcase this to investors and people that really want to bring back the art piece to Colombia because we want everybody to experience it. We managed to make weather changes, showcase it in a forest, in a plaza, in a working space and pixel streaming has helped us do that a lot. <laughs> My very first attempt to create something at Burning Man was as big as a temple. That's why I think they told me not to. The temple is the most important structure at Burning Man. It's the last thing that you burn at the end of the week and it's the moment where 8,000 people in the desert will be in silence crying because a, the week has ended. B, you are burning the most important structure. C, you are remembering the people that you love. I really, really want to be able to do that. And this is just the start of something bigger, I will say.